Shout out to TUZ for posting this article today, May 12th of 2019, titled NBA Young Boy Reportedly Shot At in Miami near Trump Beach Resort. Here's what they wrote. NBA Young Boy and his crew were reportedly on the receiving end of bullet on Mother's Day outside the Trump Beach Resort near Miami and at least one person was killed. Shots rang out Sunday near the Beachside Hotel where YB and his entourage were later identified as being on the scene. It's unclear at this point what NBA Youngboy's exact involvement might have been, but multiple eyewitnesses say someone opened fire on him. We got video of the immediate aftermath and it looks like a frenzied scene as people rushed to attend to the alleged victims. We're told the prominent black vehicle seen here had NBA Youngboy and company inside. Our sources also say Youngboy was staying at the Trump Resort. Lots of folks are reporting that Youngboy was not shot himself, but many others suggest his girlfriend, Kay Marie, was injured with a gunshot wound. The only thing cops are saying at this point is that one person was left dead in the shootout. We're working on getting more. Other reports suggest that young boy security gunned down the alleged shooter. It's unclear if that's actually the case, but somebody was definitely taken away in a stretcher. It looks like young boy was left standing on his own two feet by the end of it. NBA young boy was shot at today while in his vehicle. The shooter was then chased down and killed by NBA young boy's bodyguard. NBA young boy is okay with some praying hands emojis. That's what rap spotlights had to say about it on Twitter. Crazy enough, young boys in town to perform at Rolling Loud Sunday night. No word on if he'll take the stage at this point. We'll keep you posted. Now, if y'all didn't know, Rolling Loud is the same place where they ended up snatching up your man Kodak Black. Also, Lil Wayne did not want to be searched, so he denied performing. Like, he didn't want to go on stage or whatever. He had to bounce, which is really interesting because maybe Lil Wayne feared for his safety and has something on him which would make sense because remember his tour bus got shot up that one time and he's just been in so many other incidences you know plus there was that time that person shot him in the chest when he was like maybe 12 man that was really messed up some dude named Dwayne Michael Carter shot him in the chest y'all remember that wow man, man little Wayne has been through a lot anyway so what do you guys think man you know, Waka Flocka got shot at at the studio or the studio got shot at allegedly. Then, you know, there's the offset situation where the studio got shot at, if I'm not mistaken. And let me see. There was there's been so many incidences. I know I'm going to forget somebody. Young Thug was allegedly shot at recently. Allegedly. Now, NBA young boy got shot. He's from the, the, this is running down, though. Uh, offset is of if I'm not mistaken from Atlanta, Georgia. If I'm wrong, correct me in the comments. Waka Flocka, well, originally he was born in New York, but then he moved to Atlanta when he was young. Once again, Georgia, another Southern rapper. Young Thug, if I'm not mistaken, is from Atlanta. NBA Young Boys from Baton, Lou, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, I think. I'm pretty sure. But wow, it seems like these Southern rappers, you know, I don't know what's going on. Plus, this rolling loud thing seems to be like one of those places that just attract a lot of negativity. There's been a lot of controversy about this Rolling Loud place. Is this for publicity? Like, who is doing this? And it, it, <laughs> what is the true intention behind it? And then, of course, your man Kodak Black got arrested at the Rolling Loud thing. He's from Florida. Miami or somewhere. Somewhere in Florida. All these southern rappers. Hey, man. I don't know. It might be a coincidence. And again, it might not, not be. So let me know what y'all think about it below. Me Magazine on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and MeWe. Me Magazine blog on Instagram. Thumbs up, comment, subscribe. Click the notification bell. Then that way you receive alerts when new videos get posted. What do you guys think? Do you think that all of these situations, situations are connected between your man, NBA Young Boy, Young Thug, Waka Flocka Flame? And offset of the Migos, all of these Southern rappers. And we could throw Kodak Black in there, even though he didn't technically get shot at. But he did get caught with, allegedly, get caught with some guns coming over the Canadian border or some crap. Remember? That was right before he got arrested at Rolling Loud. Really weird stuff going on with all these different Southern rappers and gunplay. People getting shot at, people getting shot. You know, people going to jail. You know, now they're saying that my man NBA Youngboy got shot and his bodyguard killed the dude. I, I don't know, y'all. I'm confused. I'm confusion. Me Magazine.